Assalamu alaikum, namaste, sister Kal Jambus to you and a very great good afternoon, evening or whatever time you're watching this particular show. Welcome to the SEK show brought to you by Mac Coffee and today we've got a very very special guest. It's a superstar nutritionist. Who is it? Find out. Kajal Patel, thank you so much for coming on board. Thanks for having me here. Pleasure is all mine. Of course, pleasure is ours as well. So, Kajal, uh, before I get into any other details about, tell us who exactly is Kajal Patel? I've been born and brought up in India, Gujarat. I've done my master's in nutrition from there. Yeah. And then got married and came here. Okay. I've uh, got an experience of close to 12 years in this field. 12 years. So you've been uh, in the nutrition business for 12 years. Yes. So what exactly is the word nutrition? Nutrition is about eating the right food, getting the right nutrients in, into your system, uh, which is very important for your growth and development, uh, building up the correct immunity, um, having the right health state, not only mentally, but also physically. physically I mean, yeah. uh, foods do affect your mental health, which is a well-known fact. So it is very important to take in right amount of nutrients yeah, yeah. and in nutshell nutrition leads you to a healthier lifestyle healthier lifestyle okay and that's what it's all about everybody's running for this uh, healthy lifestyle you know just say they call jobby get healthy but not healthy but not it's the in thing right now uh well it has been an in thing ever since our ancestor really uh, time yeah it's I just that it's so. hyped up now it's hyped up now it's those days up. black and white era they used to do everything bindas you know and now I think they, they knew better what they were doing compared yeah. to what we are doing now. Uh, also, considering the factors that there was less pollution, less exposure to the toxins around, uh, there were more natural things. Right now, we are exposed to radiations left, right, yeah. center. Uh, so, obviously, you know, the way you eat hmm. play or the way you lead your lifestyle plays a very vital role. Tell me, have you, have you always been into nutrition all your life or what made you enter into nutrition oh well i was good in sciences but i used to <laughs> <laughs> i used to suck in physics otherwise okay. i might have gone into engineering, engineering. but my physics was really bad <laughs> well, it wouldn't so. suit you into engineering i'm sure you're in the right business uh, so uh, it's like when did you realize you want to take this thing literally seriously um i was always in uh, you know, interested knowing how does, uh, when the food enters your system, how, how does it uh, go through, what processes does it yeah, go through yeah, and that yeah. sort of always intrigued me. Yeah. So, to know more, I yeah. thought this was the right field. It was the right field. So, yeah. it was the curiosity. Yeah. You wanted to know more. No, yeah, what happens to the food after you've eaten, yeah, how yeah. is it broken down and how the is whole it utilized, process and absorbed. And everything. Yes. Okay, so I'm sure you have a lot of knowledge about this food and nutrition, as you said, seven years or did you say nine years? Twelve years. Twelve years, wow, there you go. Twelve years experience. So Kajal, tell us about food itself, food in general. There, there are kinds of foods, variety of foods, but you say at the moment uh, there's boiled food, frozen food. Frozen becoming a very popular thing right now with everybody's busy lifestyle, you know. People just go, they buy their frozen, just go pop it in the microwave and have it. And What is your take on that? Is all that really healthy stuff or you're totally against frozen food? Um, I will not say I'm totally against frozen food, but yeah. uh, there are certain foods which you can freeze and you might end up enhancing the nutritional value of that. Enhancing? Food. Yes. Wow. Uh, like, like, I would love to know uh, that. Uh, huh? Lemon. Lemon. You see, vitamin. we all know we get vitamin C from lemon yeah. and uh, vitamin C is a heat liable vitamin like uh, it sort of uh, gets degenerated when exposed to heat. Uh -huh. So if you are having lemon, I would rather advise have it in a cold state uh -huh. to get the best out of it. <laughs> Then then having, grilling it. Yeah. You know, I'm the, I'm the opposite. When you grill lemon, it's so easy to squeeze it out, you know. Yeah, it <laughs> is. But when it's frozen, it is easy as well. It's easy as well. Yes. Gonna try that out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're telling me about the frozen food. So, I mean, depending on what, like, we have frozen corn, we have frozen peas. If you're, if you're getting those because they are blanched, yeah, the nutrients are preserved inside. If they're you 
if those kind of foods you are using in your cooking, I would say it's fine, but I would not say, I would not recommend a frozen chicken to be popped in a microwave yeah, and eaten. Yeah, yeah, okay. Everybody wants to know about the weight loss. We will get more details into that. But there are a couple of people out there who want to gain weight. Yes. I have a friend of mine, uh, very popular former radio personality, Aman Bihal, you know. He's mm -hmm. a very skinny guy. He's been wanting to gain weight all his life. There was a time he started eating four chips packets a day and this and that, but he doesn't just gain weight as well. So, um, but I've and, been there. Yeah, and I know I, I had a talk with you a couple of days ago and you had said, you know, there's also weight gaining techniques. Yeah. So share that with us. Um, I've been there myself. I was a skinny child, yeah. um, <laughs> underweight. Uh -huh. So I used to struggle gaining weight. Then I realized it's just not about eating right. It's also about reducing or uh, controlling your metabolic rate. Uh, we've all heard about this BMR. It's, you know, everyone's talking about BMR. Oh, yeah. if you want to lose weight, you have to increase your BMR. If you want to gain weight, you have to decrease your BMR. Uh, BMR is the basal metabolic rate, the rate at which your body does the basic metabolic mm -hmm. processes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, normally with skinny people, chances are that your BMR is quite high and you're ending up utilizing all the energy you're consuming. Mm -hmm. So you have to slow down your metabolism for that and consume the right food. The right food. Yes, it goes hand in hand. So I'd rather say go for a high protein and a high fat combination. Yeah. Uh, giving yourself enough rest. Enough rest, meaning enough, like, uh, should you stop exercising completely because you want to gain weight? No. Or just chill and just <clears throat> watch uh, No, 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 no. Uh, again, if you stop exercising, you m might end up gaining fat compared to the muscle mass, which mm -hmm. is not going to be, again, healthy, uh, healthy <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. So, you might want to exercise, but in moderation, not kill yourself over it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, coming now to the ultimate <laughs> one, the weight loss one. Everybody's into it right now. Hmm. Just say they go, I want to lose weight, I want to get a six pack, I want to get a bikini body, I want to do this, I want to do that. What is the secret formula for that? There's no secret formula. It's yeah. just uh, eating right, exercising. Yes, I will emphasize on exercise because uh, your body tends to get used to your day to day activity. So, so exercise it is, is very, very crucial. It is very crucial. It may not necessarily be going to a gym. Yeah. Uh, you can do it at home, you can do yoga at home, you can do pilates at home. Uh, there are a lot yoga, you know, sorry to cut you that, yoga is another thing. So it's like yoga, can you just uh, get achieve results just with yoga or you have to again watch your diet and this and that? No, you do have to watch what you're eating. Um, I just um, deviate a little bit from what we are talking. Yeah. Uh, the term diet, I yeah. think is... Um, not taken in right by our public. Diet means, you know, going on a probably a 700 or a 1000 calorie diet against yeah. what you're eating, 1700 to 2000 calories. Uh, diet is not that. Diet is about eating right. Yeah. You know, when you go to a dietitian or a nutritionist, uh, they tend to recommend you a specific way of eating foods. Everyone has their own style their own of ideas. doing it. Yes. Yeah. But it's very important that you are taking in the right nutrients. Otherwise, what happens is you might end up into nutritional deficiencies because hmm. you've gone on a strict calorie -fic, you know, diet. The best guide to how much you should eat is not getting a portion control from somebody who's recommended it to you. Your body should tell you, it's enough, yeah, stop yeah. eating, you're full. Yeah, my so. body tells me, bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> We can have a yeah. chat on that afterwards. Yeah, you know, uh, we are a diet which says, uh, start tomorrow. Uh, well... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so, uh, tell me, in terms of that now, you know, there's a, in terms of the diet and everything, there's a theory, you know, which says that uh, you eat small meals a day That's and you're right. sorted. And then there, there's another theory which says you eat three massive meals a day and you're right. So, which is... The right. I know the bodies vary and all that, but I want your personal opinion on this one. My opinion, which is the right way? My opinion in this is small and frequent meals because uh, that helps you increase your metabolic rate. Normally, what 
what is what I have noticed and I've come across yeah. uh, for people who are trying to undergo weight loss is that their metabolic rates are very slow. Uh, what happens is when you eat very little or you give huge intervals during your meals, you keep huge intervals during your meals, your your body tends to retain what you've eaten. It doesn't wow. leave it easily. Okay. Okay, it's it's the same condition where you know there is a food shortage out there in the market and you're trying to buy everything possible and stack it up in your house. Yeah. That's the same way your body is reacting. So if you are uh, going to be giving it fuel, hmm. which it requires every few hours, uh, it'll make the weight loss process much easier. Easier for you, yeah. That's about food and all. Now tell, tell us about drinks. How important is the drinks that we intake? Well, drinks can be classified into two. Yeah. Majorly, alcoholic and non-alcoholic. Mm -hmm. um, and then again, they have other sections, obviously. But uh, if you look at the non-alcoholic section, there'll be sodas, there'll be uh, beverages like juices, yeah. milk can be classified as a drink, flavored milk yes, especially. Yes, yes. Um, um, they, if taken in the right way, are healthy. Um, I mean, uh, look at milk. Milk has a lot of benefits, but when you go for flavored milk, it has a lot of sugar added, preservatives added, yeah. which is not right. I'd rather you go for a milkshake which is made at home yeah. uh, rather than going for a packet milk. Okay. Uh, coming to non, I mean, alcoholic, uh, free to drink, provided it is in moderation. <laughs> yeah, that's my theory. Uh -huh. But uh, do ensure you have uh, healthy bitings along with it. Uh, that is very important. I would say I'm your customer. I have come to you and I'm like, Kajal, my goal is to lose 10 kilos mm -hmm. in two months. How does it work now? This is now we are, sh we are showing the viewers how it works if they approach you. Um, that is an unrealistic goal to okay. begin with. Okay. I'd recommend six to eight kilos in okay. two months. In two months. Uh, ideal weight loss will be about 800 grams to a kilo okay. in a week. Uh, again, depending on how how you are following what you've been instructed to, you might miss out doing something. Mm -hmm. You might miss out going and exercising or you might not be able to follow what you've been instructed to diet twice. So let's keep a goal of about six to eight kilos in two months. Okay. Uh, plus there'll be certain changes in your so eating how do you, habits. How do you decide what to give me? Uh, based on you your diet. Me or, yes. or, or how does it work? Uh, well, I would want to first know your daily routine patterns, your yeah. foods you like, the foods you dislike. I would want to know a basic um, blood profile like lipid yeah. profile your thyroid status your uh, hemogram i would want to know what is your vitamin b12 uh, levels d levels because yeah. you know these are basic factors that uh, determine why you're not losing weight oh. let's say if you're low on d yeah. chances are you might not lose weight uh, if you're low on d your cholesterol and your lipid profile might not look nice because it goes hand in hand current lifestyle demanding stressful you know you have to find the perfect balance and it, it drains us out. What's your take on that? Stress is not the only factor yeah. that, uh, well, there's this term that has been coined called lifestyle disorder diseases. Lifestyle disorder diseases. Yes, wow. stress is one of them. Okay, so stress is a disease. Well, <laughs> yes, you can say that it's a disease. It's, it's a mental disease. It's, uh -huh. you know, we all want to, the stress of traffic jam, the stress to eat right, the stress that we ensure kids go to school on yeah, time, yeah. our work is achieved, there's work stress. Yeah. I mean, there's so much building up and we definitely need to unwind us out of that. We need to learn to disconnect. You know, when you're home, be home. Don't don't think about work. Switch yeah, off. Yeah. It's very important. Don't be on your laptop. Don't yeah. be on your phone. Like, put away electronics. Mm. Like, mm. for me, it's a thumb rule. It because 9 o'clock, my phone is on silent. Silent mode, yeah. So, enough of the serious stuff now. Okay. Let's have some fun over here. Sure. Yeah. All right, tell me now. If you won a million dollars, what would you buy? Mm. Well, definitely uh, have a nice health shop. A health shop? Yes. You would buy one or you would create one? I'll create one. You'll create one? Yeah. And then what will you sell in that shop? Something that's very affordable. affordable. I think health has become very expensive, whereas yeah. it is so affordable. Yeah. The the supplements, the food, they are, I think the prices are too high. Uh -huh. They should not be... I mean, 
from where you extract it yeah. is such a cheap source but yeah. the way you sell it people are making millions there it true, should not true, be that way true. healthcare should be more affordable more should be more affordable when was the last time you were at a party and you actually ate your heart out i do it every time every time yes doesn't show though <laughs> <laughs> what is one food that you would never ever give up chocolates chocolates you are a chocoholic Big full time, on yeah so never no matter what chocolate would never be up. no and what is one food that you would tell your clients to stop eating of course it wouldn't be chocolate <laughs> <laughs> well i would never ever ask anyone to stop eating something yeah. unless and until that doesn't go well But with their one body. food that you are like this food is a big x nahi i don't away. have such a food that on my food list that food is like the bad man is like the gulshan grower of food no i don't have such a food you don't have list, such no. a food Okay. I mean, even if I know you are eating wrong, yeah. I'll tell you how to correct it or yeah. eat the correct food with it in yeah. in tangent with it, so it does not have that impact. <laughs> What is your one and only best advice you've ever given anyone? Eat what you feel is right for your body. And tell us, what is your perfect plate consisting of? Um, dal chawal, roti, sabzi, Pass. and salad. Wow, Are plus wow. some chash. <laughs> Quick fire one word answers I want from you but uh, before I go into that you know you, we've we've actually skipped something very crucial mm -hmm. you've got a very popular column in the Asian weekly yes i, I know many people read it including myself mm -hmm. and you know like okay what is kajal showing us on that how did that come about tell us more on that well when ashish and nisha started the paper yeah. they said that <laughs> <laughs> this, they want a column on health yeah and um, they told me to write i said look guys i can't write yeah. um, i'm not a writer talking, yeah. yeah i'm yeah. not a writer my language will be very basic they yeah. said it's fine yeah. that's all we need so and that's how it started that's it so how is it going so far you're enjoying writing yes i'm enjoying it do we expect a book very soon no again as i said <laughs> i'm not a writer <laughs> all right okay so uh, tell me cake or pie cake ice cream or yogurt yogurt ketchup or mustard ketchup chocolate or vanilla chocolate books or magazines books veg or non veg veg chips or fries fries favorite healthy snack healthy snack nuts yeah. nuts nice soda or juice juice coffee or tea tea masala tea masala tea <laughs> <laughs> i lost this one again books or magazines books books good word guys thank you so much kajal for having you here that's your hamper from our sponsor mac coffee thank you so much thank yeah, you for having pleasure me pleasure has been mine so guys kajal is there for you you want anything nutritional value on your life she's going to sort you out keep watching the sk show like share subscribe follow us it's all happening on zindagi tv thank you guys Bye.